Arizona fugitive captured after a three-week nationwide manhunt appearing in court today and soon will be taken back to Kingman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rebecca Thomas. John McCleskey and fellow fugitive Caslin Welch, his cousin and fiance, were captured last night in eastern Arizona. The arrests at a campsite near Greer in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest. A forest ranger who spotted the couple is being called a true hero. ABC 15's Jennifer Parks is live in St. John's where McCleskey and Welch were in court today. Jennifer, what's happening with the couple right now? Well, right now, we have got multiple cameras on this Sally Port. This is connected with the courthouse, the jail. We've seen Mojave County Sheriff's officials show up. They're going to be transporting the fugitives back to Mojave County, where, again, they are facing multiple charges. Handcuffed, shackled on the hands and feet and escorted by several deputies, the self-proclaimed Bonnie and Clyde, the Arizona fugitives made their first court appearance. First, John McCleskey answered to more than 10 charges of kidnapping, armed robbery, aggravated assault. A bearded McCluskey was cooperative as he answered questions about his criminal background. Yes. And a small-framed and soft-spoken Caslin Welsh answered questions, saying she lived and worked in Payson and had no criminal record before being accused of helping her cousin and fiancé and two other men escape from an Arizona prison. Both are being held on a million-dollar bond, and both were expected to get into a shootout with police. We rolled up hot and fast, had my team in the back of the pickup, and uh, we were on top of him before he had a chance to break to the tent. But when it finally ended, Caslin Welch was the one who reached for her gun first. She went to draw a gun. We were able to get her down. A U.S. Forest Service ranger is being credited with finding the fugitives and alerting authorities. And while McCluskey didn't have much to say in court, he's the one who has given authorities new evidence to put them at the scene of a murder in New Mexico. When the sergeant's on scene said, don't mess with that, could possibly be the, the murder weapon, uh, he said, no, the murder weapon's over in the tent. And again, we're just waiting for those doors of the Sally Port to open, and we're going to capture those images for you, as you would expect. Security tight for every fugitive tonight. There are at least two deputies, and they're both being held on a $1 million bond. For now, we're live in St. John's. Jennifer Parks, ABC 15 News.